Alright tout le monde, je suis Justin Hunt. on se retrouve à la suite de Scarlet Nexus, man. Donc là on continue l'histoire, euh, j'ai changé un peu mon équipe, mais euh, d'où man, j'ai vraiment hâte de continuer, man, parce qu'il y a pas mal de stock qui s'est passé. Gros, j'ai donné des cadeaux à plein de monde, donc euh, c'est ça. Alright, nous autres on continue ça. Dans l'épisode là, mais il y a plein de choses qui s'est passé, man. Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. Chapitre 10. Conclusion et rencontre euh, fortuite. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right, you're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Fubuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone, there's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagura, right? We should listen. Ah, on le pas parce qu'on joue pas Kasane, genre. Kagura wants to talk. I bet it's about... No. I think it's best to wait until I hear him out first. Ouais, je pense qu'il va essayer de nous... Euh... C'est qu'est-ce qu'il parlait avec Kasane la dernière fois qu'il dit... Voyons... Qu'il dit... Euh... Tu sais, quand il disait, là... Euh... À propos du Rito, là... Euh... Whatever, en tout cas. Dans l'épisode, il a dit ça en dernier, là, quand que... Toute l'équipe se sont rencontrés au hideout, là. À Planck. D'après moi, il y, un, il y a un plan, genre, s'il arrive de quoi, il... Genre, pour me tuer ou de quoi de même, je pense. C'est sûr que c'est ça. C'est comme un plan B, ça mettons ça marche pas... Euh... Me sauver, là, ben sauver Yuito, ben ils veulent peut-être le tuer.
So, you came. Sorry for bringing you out here. What did you want to tell me? It's about your father, uh -oh. Chairman Joe Sumeragi. <sighs> you know that Kasane didn't kill him. I was the one who killed the chairman. It was you? That's right. I killed him. I'm sorry I didn't tell you until now. Why? Why would you do that? How could you kill my father? <sighs> Answer me! I had no hatred for the chairman. It was for myself. I guess self-defense is a better word for it. I mean, my power is perfect for assassination. I'm sort of in charge of that kind of work. Stop it! Tell me everything. What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you because I feel bad. I know you can't forgive me, of course. So, what do you want me to do? If you tell me to leave, I'll go. So that's how you want to do this? Yes, it is. That's the kind of guy I am, after all. Fine. You have your ways of doing things, and I have mine. Oh, man, so you were talking about battle? Oh, so that's how it is. You don't really want to do this now, do you, kid? You really want to fight? Fight me, Kagero! Don't think I'm playing around! Oh, ouais, man, he's in tabarnak! I got that. You won't get away! If that's how you want it, then I won't hold back! Good! Show me what you got! Here we go! Damn. Where are you? Put you. J'aime pas ça me battre contre lui, est Il est tout le temps invisible. Je l'aime pas. Je l'aime pas. Il est tout le temps juste invisible. Attaque dans le vide, il est épais! Ah, je suis en train de poigner des mauvaises. Euh... Trappe toi dans le vide, si il fait chier. Encore. Ah, il fait chier quand il fait son acide d'un clip, man. Ah oui, frappe tout croche, épais. Ben oui, frappe tout croche, il est à côté de toi, j'essaie de le frapper. Frappe à côté, ben oui. Il est à côté de toi, man, si mon arc. Nice. Oh. Ce que j'aime pas, c'est que mon personnage il lock l'ennemi, mais il frappe tout le temps à côté des fois, ça fait chier. Oh. 
Ah ouais, bah ouais. Ah, il est là, ma Oh, man. How? How are you stronger? You'll pay for what you did. You have got to be kidding me. I can't go out like this. Time out, Yurito. Okay? I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the 2,000 years of things I did for her will all be for nothing! <laughs> I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the 2,000 years of things I did for her will all be for nothing! Yo, it's not the same, he just wants to kill me. About time you told me the truth. That's it, see? What? You... You knew. I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth if I didn't do this. And I did actually want to beat you up. <laughs> Are you serious? Boy, do I look dumb right now. You'll tell me the truth now, won't you? Yeah. Yuito, Kagura. Did we interrupt you? Kagura, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sugumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Hmm. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, 
Babe's plans. I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker, so it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. No, it's just like I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment. To sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Oh. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan. And I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the Moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the Moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The Extinction Belt. I think it's safe to say that the Moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The Moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the Moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the Moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe, and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family. The only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. 
But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. Oi. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. Pourquoi j'ai kyoka avec moi? C'est pas mon team que je le que je le fais pour tout de suite. Comment je fais pour changer mes mes trucs? Je sais pas. Comment je fais pour changer? Je sais pas comment changer mes Ok, désolé, je vais juste refaire mon équipe parce que c'était pas l'équipe que je me suis faite. Je sais pas, on dirait que ça change de, de groupe là. Moi, je voulais rester avec Anabi, ça c'est sûr, je restais avec Anabi. Puis j'avais mis Kassane. Ouais. Comme ça. Mais là, euh, l'affaire. Euh... Tu je sais pas comment. Euh... Je pense que Psychokinesis et Duplication vont bien ensemble, non Ah C'est deux fois comme ça, nice. Ok, c'est bon. Ah oui, puis euh, je pensais à ça, là. Euh, Kaguro, euh, lui, man, il a sa femme, puis un enfant. Puis il gossait après euh, Tsugumi. Il y avait un kick sur Tsugumi, je veux dire. Le gars, euh, il pensait-tu à sa famille ou non? <rire> ben. Bon, ok, quelle attaque j'ai de besoin? Téléportation moins. Ah, ça a tout changé. Euh, ok. Piro, je vais prendre ça. Je vais ch Écoute, attends, je vais changer mes affaires. Ça a tout changé tout seul, man. Ça a tout changé tout seul, je sais pas pourquoi. Bon, ok. Je vais mettre le pouvoir de. Elle ici. Puis sa téléportation à lui. Je vais mettre. L'invisibilité à lui, parce qu'elle est pratique. Euh... Kassane, ouais, ouais, ok. Ouais, Tsugumi, clairvoyance. Oh, il manque du monde. Ok, attends, je vais mettre téléportation. Ça doit être pratique. Est-ce qu'elle a fait déjà? Je le sais pas. Je vais mettre ça là, ici. Tsugumi, je la garde. Tsugumi était ici avant. Elle va être là. Puis lui, c'est l'électricité. Puis je vais rester comme ça. Alright, c'est bon, je suis correct. Let's go, c'est parti. Là, faut que je m'habitue à mon nouveau setup. Là. Ah ouais? 
Ah, ok. Ah non, j'ai trop. Ah, c'est trop pile du temps, man. Ah, c'est peine trop, fucky. Ça fait quoi, elle Ah c'est ça. Ah il y a trop d'affaires man. J'ai juste trop d'affaires Pas le temps de niaiser, ouais. Ouais, on sait. Ah oh, attends, elle a plus de vue. Euh, plus de vue. Plus de vie. <rire> plus de vie. Ah, euh, celle ici. Almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? An earthquake? The shaking. It's similar to the big earthquake at Kunat Highway. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunat Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunad Gate. Uh, hey! Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain, too. What? You were a dud? Oh, right. 
I didn't tell you guys yet. You became a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden. But there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Mary. Okay. Anyway, we should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. Time to turn invisible! You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. Le gars, là, il dit que mon pouvoir, là, il débordait. Puis en gros, il fait juste tirer. I'm curious about what Kagura said. Are you really feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. My power apparently won't go away too soon. So we just have to see what happens. Okay. Just don't push yourself too hard. Ouais, c'est ça. Euh, en, en gros, c'est juste moi qui est juste fort. Puis lui, ben, il a genre fait, ouais, ta barnac, il est bien fort. Fait que là, il met ça sur le dos de mon pouvoir qui va disparaître. Là, il va nous voir si on va dans la porte d'entrée ici. Ben, pas voir, mais ce que je veux dire, c'est que les portes vont s'ouvrir, non? C'est difficile de garder ça avec tant de gens. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de sécurité dans le monde, juste comme nous pensions. All right. We'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Damn! Here they come. The Dogetsu design children. All right. Oof. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca! Do it. Here we go. Maybe. <laughs> bizarre, I'm not. This is the entrance to Babe. Good. It worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No, I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh. That's Others. you. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn, Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take him out. All right. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Ah, oh, that's she. You're so fast. Thanks, Arshi. I can do this. Dang. Oh, six is OP, man. You Finish this, you Keep it up. I sense no others around us. This is bad. 
I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean, toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo. Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. The others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. All right. Euh, je vais changer un peu mon groupe. Ben, ça ici. Oh non, c'est pas lui. Ah, lui, c'est parce qu'il est invisible, puis c'est quand même assez pratique. Sauf que lui, j'ai pas d'attaque avec lui, ça qui fait chier. Elle, j'ai une attaque, lui, j'ai une attaque, puis elle, j'ai une attaque. Je suis quand même assez fort avec elle. Ouais, c'est parce que lui, je peux me mettre invisible, puis c'est assez pratique pour faire des attaques surprises. Hmm. Donc, il y a elle et tout, tu sais, qui est forte, là. Avec elle et tout, je peux faire une attaque. Ah, c'est pas grave, là. On va s'habituer. Euh, non, je suis pas con, c'est par là. <rire> okay, on va racheter de la potion. Ben, de les geler. Ah, ok, bon. Let's go. Ah, ta sauvegarde. Go. All those cubes lined up are part of Bates' computer network? Yeah, it's on the level of our Habaki and Suo. Ah fuck. Ouais, ça me gosse. Je vais, je vais prendre euh, Tsugumi ici à ta place. Ah bon. Il y a bien trop de stock, man, ça n'a pas de sens. En cas qu'on s'en fout un peu d'eux autres, on peut juste continuer. Attends, je cherche de la gelée allégée. Ok, ici. Ok, là j'ai pas le choix. Yeah, time it. Let's do it together. Are you done up? Ah! 
Elle porte en crise cette attaque là, man. Excusez. Sauvegarde. Ah, y'en a un chien, man. Quoi? J'ai sauté par-dessus, c'est bien con. Ok, ici. Ok, fuck that. Ah ok on est déjà rendu Et de là il y a pas mal de vie là Oh, y'en avait là et tout. C'est quoi? Remets dans la tablette, hein. Il y a pas mal de gros monstres, hein? Ah ouais, hein? 
On se bat même pas, man, attention. Ah, fuck. Let's go, on se bat. I'm not done yet. I use this. I need to support the injured. Do what you want. I can do this. Hmm. Ok. Oh, il y a la crise même. I can control it. Ok, use it. I'm not done yet. With everything. Now. Bah là, ouais, c'est rendu l'autre qui m'attaque, Asti, il aime pas se poser être dans notre fight. Il aime pas se poser être dans notre fight, fuck off, man. Il a tiré plus loin là. Ah. Un peu plus, je me trompe. Nice. Thanks, man. Good fight, honesty. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm dead. I need your help. Oh my god, this is... Ah fuck, I'm not in the right branch. Je vais pas attaquer, je vais sauvegarder. Oh, t'es sérieux là? Hein? Like oh, c'est si bon. Alright, let's go. Ah, c'était sûr. Nice.
Intel. Shell is broken. Give it everything you have. Ok mais là, euh, attends, là, là, je suis pogné un coin là. Je ça je veux. Mais non, mais je suis en train de faire une attaque, calé, ça va chier tout. Hey, c'est chier quand même. Là. Ah, il voit est pareil, anyway. Je sais pas. Bon, qu'est-ce que je peux faire comme attaque surprise avec les autres? Pas grand chose. Come on. Ah, oh, yes. Pas lui, non. Ah gros on a plein d'attaques c'est fou c'est hot là je commence au moins je suis un petit peu habitué de switch à cette heure là fait que je commence à connaître où est-ce qu'ils sont mes emplacements
Je vais par où? On va aller par là. J'ai hâte de voir ce qui va se passer, man. Ah, encore mon, mon OBS, il est encore. Euh... Il est encore gelé. Je comprends pas pourquoi il fait ça depuis un bout. Il fait juste ça, la star, là. Genre, je fais une vidéo, puis il freeze, genre. Mais ma vidéo, elle continue à enregistrer. C'est juste que. Genre, le timer, il est comme. Il est gelé. Bon, je sais pas. En tout cas, whatever. Là. Je sais qu'il va dégeler, là. Ça, ça va juste me faire bien chier pour rester. Si, euh... Ah, t'es pas. T'es sérieux? Ah non, d'où tu commandes? Ben, en dos. Ah, fuck off. J'irai m'en acheter au pire. Oh, c'est le vrai labyrinthe ici. Quoi, il qui est gelé longtemps? <rire> Oh, come on, là. Je fais une attaque, quand oh, yes. Oh, il est dégelé là. Ah, oh, il est dégelé pendant une minute, ok, c'est pas fait. Ah, ouais, il crève là, il a juste euh, une minuscule de vie là. explosion à la fin.
Alright, on se prend de la potion. Ben de la gelée. Ça peut-être pas là, elle coûte cher là. Sauvegarde. Je crois qu'on est arrivé. Ah, ça pas de life finalement. Ah, ça y est. Ah, il est Chris, euh, là, ah, gros, je t'en ai. Là, là où je suis moins tes estis d'affaires d'eau. Ah, il y a du nouveau people. Ah, oh, shit, avoir reçu, je l'aurais utilisé genre là. Pas grave. Ça, ça, je l'ai. Ah, il y a des boutons là. Merde! Mais ouais, mais. Ah, il y a un autre. Je l'ai trouvé avec euh, sa clairvoyance là, t'es boss. Et tu fais chier toi même.
Connais, elle sauvegarde partout, man, ça a pas de sens. Est-ce 15 heures de jeu pareil? Trop c'est grand, babe. Oh, ici il y a quelque chose. Ouais. What is this place? Another one? I think that was bigger than last time. Do you think the Kunad Gate is expanding? We don't have time for chit chat. We need to keep moving. Wait a moment. That voice. Please listen to me. Mom? Huh? Huh? What? What? Huh? That's your mother, right, Yuito? What is she doing here? And Kasani, what did you just say? This is a vision created by Babe. What an underhanded trick. Wakana was a precious person. She was a successful design children model. And she had the power of the red strings. My mother was one of them? And she is important to both Yuito and Kasane. Wakana took care of Kasane when she was little. Oh. I heard she fled from Togetsu after an incident. I thought those Togetsu bastards killed mother. That's what I remember anyway. So Yuito's mom ran away from Togetsu and then met his dad in Suo? Chairman Sumeragi may have provided refuge to her once he found out she was connected to Togetsu. That is why I thought this form would be best to get you to listen. Yuito, Kasane, you must know. This world is in danger of destruction at the hands of the Kunat Gate. It is not only Togetsu. There are many people living in Suo and Seiron all over New Himuka. To save all of the people who are important to you, I must have your help. Help? Yurito, I apologize for leaving you alone while you were still young. If you come with me now, your loneliness will be cured. Don't no spam. Kasane, do you remember that puppy? That little dog was your friend. If nothing is done, everyone will die. All your friends in the world will die just like your puppy. Will you both help me? Connect your minds and become one with me. Use the red strings to save the world. Don't use my mom for your dirty schemes. Mother wouldn't say things like that. You're not fooling anyone. Correct, sir. Is that the best a machine can come up with? You've really underestimated these two. A foolish decision. The brain of the Wakana that you love has already been processed and made a part of me. What did you say? Oh. Are human brains being used as organic parts for Babe? So then, that means my mom wasn't attacked by others after all. It was you, Babe. No, Togetsu. You stole my mother's brain! All of it was to save the world. Fuck off. What do you mean, save? You're only saving yourselves. You can't sway me with visions of mother. You don't want us to get any further. I won't let you use my mom anymore. I will stop, babe! What? Run, run! The floor is collapsing! I'm glad everyone's all right. What is this place? Something feels different. What? The floors again? This is bad. Everyone, run! Sugumi, is there a place we can teleport to? This is the only path. Wait. <gasps> Another is coming. It's big.
Il est fait de personne, c'est quoi? What the? Oh, what? Oh ouais, ça change de gameplay, man. What the fuck? Ok. Ah oh, mais je vois rien, là. Okay. Ça start. Relax and use SAS. What? The enemy is gigantic, but it seems to be just observing for now. Je peux même pas sauter. The oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuito's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. Oh, les shit, man, c'est tough. Et puis le pire, c'est que je peux même pas sauter. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait, là? What the fuck, man? Look, is that big center over there? Just a little more. Okay, let's Did. break through. Okay, I think it's des mannequins. It's not des vrais humains. We may have fallen, but at least it wasn't to our deaths. So this is the real Babe? That's right. We should be able to access all of Babe from here and shut it down as well. Oh, it looks like something's already processing. What's going on? Babe is implementing emergency procedures. Could it be because we made it this far? Hmm? I felt something just now. It felt like the red strings. What's going on, Arashi? I can't believe it. It's totally empty. Huh? What do you mean, empty? I meant just what I said. All the data has been erased without a single trace. Feels vindictive. So you mean Babe shut down of its own accord? I like your wishful thinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Regardless, it doesn't look like Babe can do anything anymore. So is it safe to say we've managed to stop Togetsu's plan? Hmm. I'd be lying if I said I was completely free of doubt. But at least at this point, it's clear that this computer is useless. The connection is restored. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, it's Wataru. The network blocker must be gone. That must mean Babe really is shut down. 
You shut down Babe, fantastic! Another earthquake. I feel like it keeps getting stronger. Wataru, that quake. Yeah, another anomaly was observed at the Kunat Gate, and they're becoming more frequent. I'm glad we stopped Togetsu's plan, but I don't like that we lost all the research data. There could have been information on the Kunad Gate. Hey, Kagero, Kyoka, is the research data safe somewhere else, or do you know someone who knows about it? It's very unlikely. The research of Red String spans over hundreds of years. It's a power filled with mystery to begin with. There probably isn't a single person who understands the whole thing. So we have no leads? Guys, there is someone. She's involved with Togetsu and is knowledgeable about the Red Strings. Who? Wakana. She fostered Kasane, who has the power of Red Strings. She must have had enough knowledge to be able to raise Kasane to control it. What are you saying? Yuhito's mom is dead. So we should go ask her directly. Directly? You can't be serious. By using the red strings? Yes. We don't seem to have any other options. Oh, we'll Even still, I'm worried. It may damage Yuito's brain. Let's do it. If we don't do anything, the Kunad Gate will just keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. You want to recreate what happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. Il fait le rouge, regarde ses cheveux, man. Est-ce qu'il va faire ici? Non. Il va tout de suite ou? Moi, je suis quoi? Fucked up, man. Ça me fait longtemps que je peux être ici. expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The red strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be. So it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So... Should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Hello. 
Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. Oh, we can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca, though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. Ah, j'ai ramené ça à aller voir ça, moi. I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her. Oh, ça fait longtemps, man. Sa voix de kid. Mommy is good at hide and seek, so I have to hide really well. Don't go too far. I won't. Maybe over there is good. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Where could Yuito be? This works. I'll be okay here. Mommy can't see me. I'm going to find you right away. Uh, uh. Mommy? Oh! Oh, je kid Yuito, man. Oh. Who is that? Oh, you're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time to Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But 
How do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Huh? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunat Gate. Uh, death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? All right. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Mommy? Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's all right. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients, but this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be all right. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be all right. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere with that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh! Yuito, wait! Huh, it's curious. Je peux y retourner? Vas-y, Yuito, là, t'as pas le choix, là. No, she'll find. Oh. <laughs> Il stresse tout ça à cause que les autres vont attaquer, c'est quoi? Je pense que oui. Ouais. Get to a shelter. Hurry. You there. Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh my mommy is. Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood? Please stay calm. Head over Ah, pourquoi il a fallu que je reste en cas, man? Ouais, c'est pas le même que ça s'est passé dans... It's gonna eat me. Yuito! Yuito! Don't move! Oh, j'ai compris. Oh, c'est fucked up. I made it just in time. I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. 
You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. C'est comme ça qu'il a vu euh, Kasane quand il était petit. Yuito, are you okay? Yuito, snap out of it. That's right. I remember now. It was Kasane. She's the one who saved me back then. Oh, right. Kasane. It's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuito... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals, or so they say. So the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. 
we'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. The circumstances are unfortunate, but it's good you got to see your mom again. Yeah, but it's all so sudden. I don't know what to say to her. It's been years. You must have a lot of things you want to talk to her about, right? Hey, c'était hot en chien comme épisode, man. Gros, l'épisode est fini. Mais, euh, gros, hey. What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Hey, c'est fucked up, man. Et genre, quand ça a né au début, je pensais que ça a été un enfant, là, un design children qui a été euh, sauvé Yuito quand il était jeune, genre, mais finalement, c'était vraiment qu'à année, mais... L'affaire, c'est que... Yuito, il se souvenait de Kassane qu'il avait sauvé à l'époque. Mais elle, elle, elle s'en souvenait pas au début, elle s'est dit « Ah, je t'ai jamais sauvé. » Puis là, elle l'a sauvé. Puis là, il est là « Ah, c'est le même que je l'ai rencontré, en fait. » elle, elle a comme voyagé dans le temps, elle m'a sauvé. Puis en fait, on est comme dans... Mais c'est bizarre, c'est comme une boucle, en fait. Parce que là, on est, on est comme dans la timeline que Kassane l'a sauvé. Parce qu'il se souvient que Kassane l'a sauvé, mais pas elle, genre. Fait qu'il a comme rencontré la Kassane du présent. Mais c'est la Kassane du futur qui est allée dans le passé et qui l'a sauvé. Fait que comme ça, la Kassane du présent, elle, bah, ben, elle sait pas qu'elle l'a sauvé parce qu'elle l'a jamais sauvé encore. Puis Yuito, lui, il s'en souvient parce que. Il est à kid quand elle allait le sauver. Puis là, c'est juste plus tard qu'elle va le sauver dans le... Genre, c'est juste plus tard dans le moment présent qu'elle va sauver Yuito. Puis c'est là que Yuito, ben, il comprend que c'était Kassane en fait, genre. Je sais pas si vous me suivez là, en tout cas c'est bizarre en crise là, ça fait comme ça change de timeline un peu. Les affaires là, de, de voyage dans le temps, j'ai jamais été trop fan de ça parce que c'est compliqué en crise à comprendre genre, mais... Genre, en gros, en gros c'est ça man, c'est fucked up. C'est juste, c'est fucké man, <rire> je m'attendais pas à avoir des voyages dans le temps pour eux man. Mais uh, alright man, uh, l'épisode est fini, fait que... Si vous voulez regarder un petit surplus uh, d'épisode, ben... Je fais des uh, relations, des étapes de relations avec, de, avec, avec les personnages, fait que... C'est ça. Ok, je peux pas... Ah oui, je peux répondre... Ouh, là, putain. Ah, ça fait longtemps, man, Nagi. Fuck, il est mort, man. Ok, bon, étape de relation, j'ai lui ici. On va faire les meilleurs pour la fin. Hey, Kagro. If you, uh, have some time, what do you say we go get coffee? Oh. Well, I've never been asked by a guy before, and it's Yuito of all people. <laughs> is it that unexpected? Of course it is. After all, I am the one who killed your father. I've said a lot of things to you and dragged you around, but I thought you'd still have something against me. I still have mixed feelings about you, and... You're right. I can't just forgive what you did. Yeah, I figured. But that's why I want to know who you are. And what you're thinking. And it was a nice break going to town with you. Huh. If that's how it is, how about we do something less boring than just coffee? <laughs> less boring? Hey, where are you taking me? I could tell you now, but that would spoil the surprise. You said something less boring, but... This place is pretty deserted. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything someone like me says. I was lying. Okay. Why did you bring me here? Well, you did say you wanted to understand me. I chose this place because I don't think anyone will bother us here. Don't hesitate to ask me whatever you want. You have the right to do so. Well, I do have something I've been wanting to ask you. You said you wanted to stop Togetsu for your family, right? Yeah. Everything I've worked for up till now was to stop Togetsu's plans. To protect the existence of my family. Of my daughter. For 2,000 years, that's all I lived for. Well, I told you most of that already. Yeah. I understood that. And I don't doubt it at all. But there is still something I just don't understand. What's that? You already stopped Togetsu. You finally reached your goal. So what's wrong? Why do you still look so unsatisfied? Oh? 
That's pretty sharp. You know, you're something, kid. Very innocent. Maybe too innocent. What? You're not still hiding something, are you? Well, everything I've told you up till now was definitely true. But if there is something, I guess it's that I'm burned out. You're burned out? What do you mean? It's been 2,000 years. My family, the world I know, they're all far in the past. I have nothing now. I don't feel anything. I'm totally empty inside. I achieved the only goal I had. Now I'm just remaining in this world with no real meaning. Kind of like a ghost. I know what it feels like to lose your family. I lost mine too. But how can you talk like that? You're the one who murdered my father. You're telling me that the person who killed my family is a burned out coward? I'm <laughs> sorry if it makes you mad, but that's how I feel. You're the one who wanted to know. So, do you want to kill me now? No, I don't. Thank you for being honest with me. I'll talk to you anytime. You beat the crap out of me in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay, then. That's enough serious talk. Time to head out to town. Wait, what? That was a quick turnaround. I can't believe you want to go out now. I told you I'd take you somewhere less boring, didn't I? You need to pay attention. Um, you just told me not to believe what someone like you says. All right. Today I'll show you how real men have fun in Suo. This is gonna be fantastic. He said fun was escaping reality. But I think he might be enjoying himself just a little too much. Yuito, are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes. Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. Hey, this is the part of Baki, Baki man. Hmm. Oh, so. cool, and plein de relations. Tabarnak. A plein d'étapes de relations, man. On a Tsugumi. Luca, Kasane, Tabarnak, y'en a ben trop. Bon, on les fait toutes, let's go. Ça me tente pas, mais. <rire> pas lui en tout cas. I need to talk to you. Now what? Did you come to insult me again? No. I don't want anyone else to hear. We're going to Musubi's, come on. Hey, wait, I didn't agree. Oh, oh man, I can't take this guy. So, what do you want? We had an argument last time. Yeah, I remember. You don't want to pick up where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. No, I don't. I was too emotional before, so... I'm sorry. Wait. What did you just say? I said I'm sorry. What's strange about that? I know when I've gone too far. Yeah. I uh, said things I didn't mean to. But I didn't expect you to just apologize. I called you a pampered little boy. But when I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. You lost both your parents, then almost lost your memory. You've had plenty of your own hardships. Well, when you say it like that... Did I really have it that hard? Will you accept my apology? Yeah, I accept. Just to be clear, I'm only apologizing for what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dimwit, so I won't apologize for that. Can't he be a little nicer? I guess that's just his personality. Speaking of hardships, you said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? Huh? It means someone born without powers. Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. 
They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. Well, it's kind of unclear. Wait, are you worried about me? No. I just... I can't understand how you can say that so lightly. No matter what the official stance is, people without powers are discriminated against. It doesn't matter if you're a Sumeragi or not. No matter how much they flatter you to your face, they're laughing at you in their heads. I don't think I could handle that. I know that people won't look at me the same, but it won't change who I am. There are people who see me for me, not as a psionic or as a Sumeragi. I can't tell if you're tough or just stupid. <laughs> You've had so many bad experiences, but you look so self-assured. When I see you, it makes me think I can't whine about my little problems. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. I've worked so hard, but my real ability still isn't appreciated in the OSF. It's irritating. Oh yeah, I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a Sumeragi. Just like you. Huh. Way to be insulting without trying. I'll give you some advice. If you feel like you're not being appreciated, then get so strong that people have to appreciate you. That's the only way. It's what I worked so long for, and what I'll keep working for. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Unexpectedly? Why is it unexpected? I just always thought you were the cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it! We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you. Yeah, yeah, we're not alike at all. I mean, I'm not rude like you. What? If you had been nicer about your advice before... Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. I had trouble listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Of course it was. I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Will you give me more advice sometime? Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. Hmm. <laughs> Moi, c'est pas pire, ça pas... il l'a pas trop insulté, là, il était correct, là. Stop furrowing your brow the moment you look at someone. I could say the same to you. That makes two of us then. It makes me angry that we're alike. But I guess you could say I'm rubbing off on you. You should keep climbing to get on my level. All right. Bon, lui, il est fait. My first impression of you was the worst. But now, I'm willing to say you're the second to worst. Ah, les touches, je pas tant, je la trouve emmerdante un peu. I guess I'm grateful that I'm better now. Arashi hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. She also said I was just like someone... I know. I'll call that person up. She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out... Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Oh, that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? 
Fubuki. I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest. So consider this payback. <laughs> I can't believe you. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> my vision! It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision, so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome. How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Looks like you're working hard. I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard, though. <laughs> You're one to talk. You don't care enough about slacking off. It's not a bad thing. When you know your own strength and rest when you need it, you'll be a better soldier. Work on that. There's a lot of people who will be sad if you fall. I'm one of them. Oh. Alright. Okay, bon, là. Non, on va en faire un cadeau, cool. Okay, là, il me reste. However, you should not overdo it. Ah, il y a Luca. Thanks. Yeah, ah, je pensais qu'il y avait un habit. Il y a Luca, il y a Tsugumi, puis il y a Kassane. On va finir avec Kassane, man. Euh, là, on va parler avec Luca. Yuito, do you have a moment? You look worried. Did something happen? Yes, I must conduct this with the utmost secrecy. It's slightly dangerous. It may be difficult to manage on my own. So I was wondering if you could help me. Oh, une petite mission. Of course I'll help. So how dangerous is it? For a while now, I've been looking into the research conducted at the old OSF hospital. During the investigation, I discovered research data was stolen by a spy from Ceyron. I can't go into details, but it's very dangerous. It must be erased as soon as possible. So you want to infiltrate a Ceyron research facility? Yes. It should be in the Supernatural Life Research Facility. Okay. Will it just be the two of us? Yes, that would be best. I guess fewer people involved would be better for secrecy. I'm glad you understand. Let's leave immediately. Oh, we have a mission to do. Is this the lab researching the stolen data? It should be. It seems no one is here. Let's get this done. What is this? <laughs> Empty bus. Oh. What's wrong? Oh. It seems Seiron's research has already progressed further than I expected. This is a plan to disperse the drug indiscriminately and turn an entire city into duds. If they use this, they may be able to turn all humans in New Himuka into duds. What is Seiron thinking? Pourquoi? Delete that right now. <sighs> What's the matter? Delete the data, Luca. I just had a strange thought. Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if there were no powers? What are you saying? I've thought about it all my life. 
Our society is fixated on the superiority of powers. Whether you have powers or not decides your fate. But if all humans were duds, no one would ever have to worry about powers again. How much tragedy have you seen that would never have happened if there were no powers? Calm down. Do you understand what you're saying? I do. Then you know that no tragedy will be prevented by a weapon like that. People cause those tragedies, not powers. Taking them away won't solve anything. I know this has been bothering you. I get worried when I think I might lose my power too. But that doesn't make it right to take them all away. You're the one that is most fixated on the superiority of powers. I apologize. That was a bad joke. Huh? That was... a joke? Come on. Don't scare me like that. Don't worry. I've deleted all data related to the research, including the backups. That's a relief. Oh. Let's go back. It's dangerous to teleport with so many others around. So we should take the same route we came. Yeah, okay. Let's go. The way he was talking, even if it was a joke, he sounded kind of serious. He must have been really hurting to be tempted by it. Il voulait juste savoir qu'est-ce que t'as pensé en fait. Our mission is complete. That was good work. I'm glad nothing happened. You surprised me a little back there. I was only teasing you. Besides, I'll be honest with you. I hated you for a bit. What? It was more jealousy than hatred. I've been a research subject ever since I was young. We're both duds, but your family still loved you. I thought that you could never really understand how I felt. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't know you felt that way. You don't need to apologize. What you said before made something clear to me. We see the world differently because we've lived different lives. And because of that, I think there are things I could learn from you. You're right. I am the one that is fixated on superiority of powers. <laughs> that was in the heat of the moment. I'm embarrassed to have acted like such a child. Are you disappointed that someone like me is a Septentrion? No. I'm glad you told me how you really feel. I hope you'll feel free to be honest with me in the future. You certainly are honest to a fault. Perhaps I could learn that as well. So, should we run back to the hideout? What? It's pretty far. You're here, so why don't we teleport? Stamina is just as important as strength. Let's go. That's huh. not what I meant when I said to feel free. Ouais parce que là, il me reste encore trois étapes de relation à faire, man. Il me reste. Do you ever get tired of being a member of the OSF? Ouais. Um, the reality is different from my ideal, but there's a lot I couldn't do if I wasn't here. And that's true. You did choose to join us of your own will. I respect you. For seeing the realities of the OSF and remaining unswayed. All right. Sugumi, I think we'll be able to. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'd like to talk with you some more. I hope you feel the same way. Of course. You know a okay. lot of Sugumi. stuff. Sugumi. So it's fun talking to you. Me rest Sugumi, Kasane. Ah, me rest two finally. Ah, me rest two. Ah, ah non! Oh! Il y a Kyoka! Kyoka est fucking hot! Ok, je vais faire euh, Tsugumi avant. Parce que je pense que c'est notre dernière relation qu'on a ensemble, je pense. Yuito, oui? Can I ask you something? Sure, what? Um, we found the white flowers already. I was wondering if there were any other plants you want me to find? Hmm. Mm. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, all right. You look really disappointed. What's up all of a sudden? Well, I wanted to help you. 
You always help me. Not only in battle, but with the flowers, too. That's more than enough. But... I... Elle veut se rapprocher, elle est cute. What is it? Oh, sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Wait, I'll say it. I have to. I want to be brave. Sugumi? I want to be... For... I want to be your friend. Aww. Huh? You want to be my friend? I've been thinking about it for a long time. You're so nice, and you listen to me. So, I want to be your friend. I looked for the white flowers because I wanted to help you. I thought if I did, you'd be my friend. Ah, oh, come on, oh, me. That's what you were trying to say when I asked you why you were so interested in that flower on Hiano Mountain. Yeah. I didn't lie then, but the main reason was because I wanted you to be my friend. So I asked if there was any other way I could help. I'll help you any way I can. You don't have to do that, you know. So you don't want to be my friend? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're already friends. What? That's how I feel anyway. If it's okay with you, I want to be your friend. But, but, I can't talk normally, and I couldn't bring the flower back. I wasn't any help. Whether you're helping or not doesn't matter. Friends are friends. Besides, you've been talking normally for a while now. The way I talk isn't normal. I just blush and go quiet. I can't look people in the eyes. Listen, it's fine if that's normal for you, but what do you think is normal anyways? Being able to talk a lot without pausing. If you don't do that, people don't understand. That's not true. Even if you don't talk very much, I understand how you feel. Really? I mean, you found that flower's name from the little that I remembered, and you were going to climb Hiano Mountain by yourself. Seeing all that, there's no question how much you care about me. Anyone would agree. And who else but a friend would go through that much trouble? You think so? Yeah. Take plants, for example. They make you feel good just by being around and not talking, right? Yeah. So don't feel like you have to go to great lengths or change who you are just to please others. I think you should just be yourself. Just as you are now. That's kind of strange. I've never thought I could be myself. I always wanted to be normal. I thought that if I was, I would be able to make friends besides Kagura. Like I said, I'm your friend. So stressing yourself out is the last thing I want you to do. Just like that white flower. You left it alone because you thought it would be happier living on the mountain. I think you should live the way that's easiest for you as well. That sounds a little pompous, though. No, it doesn't. I'm happy. Same here. I'm happy to call you my friend. Yeah, we're friends. Oh, right. About the flowers. I just thought of one I want to find. What? Go on. We couldn't bring back that silent snow melt before. So, I was thinking we could find a flower that's suited for this place. Is there one that would bloom inside the hideout? And I'm just asking as a friend, so... There are a lot. There's no direct sunlight inside the hideout, so... A flower that can live inside the shade is best. Like a spathophyllum. Spatho... what now? But we should take it outside to get some sun once in a while. It's hard for flowers to bloom without ever getting sunlight. Soil, too. If it's not the right soil for the flower, it will wilt. I know a good shop for soil. I'll take you there. Um, I was hoping for an easier one. Like one for beginners. There are no easy plants. They're all living things. Got it. So first, I should get serious about this. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. 
She has no trouble talking about plants. She sees me as a friend too. I guess that means we're real friends now. There's no other way to put it. Okay, I'm ready to learn, Professor Sugumi. Sure, I'll start with the basics. Make sure you take notes. Huh? Right, okay. you but can we talk yeah sure did I do something I mean you're pretty observant well you always take care of me and the others right you should take care of yourself too I'm worried you might try out oh niveau 5 je pensais qu'on était niveau max avec oh c'est après Bon, on va aller voir Kyoka. Kyoka, puis on finit avec Kassane. J'ai l'impression qu'il y a de la romance à, entre lui et un habit au moins, man, mais je penserais pas, c'est le temps de même. Ah oh non, je me suis trompé, je l'ai fait avec Kyoka avant. Pourquoi je t'ai. Ah, c'est pas grave. Je n'ai pas parlé à Kassane sur le fait que la personne qui l'a élevée était ma mère. Hey, Kassane, tu as une minute? Sure, what is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? I thought it would be best to talk some more private. I also want to get some combat in. Ah, so you want to get some field training? Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. L'affaire là, c'est que les épisodes sont longs parce que c'est le après. C'est les étapes de relation en fait. Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well... <laughs> We really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about 10 years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All uh -huh. I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu. So that's a good thing for me, at least. It's by a design right. child. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No, it's true that if mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you big sister now? Stop it. The only big sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. That was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. 
That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Au moins, on n'a pas cherché des clés, là. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her. But she is like a big sister sometimes. What? You look like you want to say something. Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. Oh, you oh, too. Okay, I wanted to talk to you. I thought we were fighting. Sure. What is it? I just wanted to thank you. It's strange, but whenever I talk to you, I feel relieved. It's kind of like you're to me what Baki is to you. I wonder if I understand your feelings better. Communicating with someone is oh. difficult. Kyoka. Yeah. Kyoka. It's not like I'm good at it either, but I get what you're saying. Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I have to tell you. What? What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll tell you everything there. About things I've been hiding from you. Oh. What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before, because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago... Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. Save you, Lavo. I'm surprised. But I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. 
She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... The way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm. You're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Just oh, the thing I wanted to see. Your lucky color for the day is red, and your lucky direction is south. Um, thanks for that. So, what should I do specifically? Eat red food and deploy south, probably. Should I make something for you? Oh, um, no thanks. I appreciate the thought. Nice. You can talk to me about anything. Romantic issues, or dreams you had last night. Okay. I don't have anything right now. That's uh, fait comme le rôle de notre mère, man. Oh, on va répondre à tout. Hey man, c'était long les étapes de relation, dude. Damn. Ouais. Hey gros, j'ai tout fait ces étapes de relation là, gros. Il y en avait un sacrament, man. Alright, tout est fait, man. Hey, j'espère que ça va apprécier, man. Oh. Donc ça c'est vraiment la fin de l'épisode, on a toutes fait nos étapes de relation. Donc euh, j'espère que vous avez apprécié, nous on se retrouve pour la suite, man. Restez à l'écoute, à la prochaine. Ciao!